There's a really popular video going around showing the curvature of the Earth. Now, this is a classic example of a camera trick. Now, I recently had a debate with this guy named MC McToon, and I explained to him how before NASA CGI, they were doing camera tricks by taking the camera and putting it in the back of the room, or the back of the airplane in this instance, blacking out the sides, shooting through a circle, and then there's your curve. There's your curvature of your Earth. Your camera will hit the focal point of the camera will hit what it's shooting at and then the sides will create your circle and then crop your image and you'll get a curved image. Now there's a guy named Kip. Uh, I don't know his last name. I'll leave a link in the description for his video, but he shot a rocket up into low earth orbit and he took a camera uh, with a modified lens, with a rectangular lens. But you see him in the video, I think it's around the four minute mark, you see him inside the rocket, which is a cylinder, he cut out a circle and put the camera inside the circle. So he's shooting and he puts it inside all the way in the cylinder. So it's shooting out of the cylinder. So that's your framed image. That's your curve. And the sides of his image are then going to be curved by his frame, by his inside of his cylinder. It's super simple. If you think that's the curvature of the earth, um, you're gladly mistaken. You're, you're absolutely ridiculous. You don't understand how cameras work. You don't understand how camera tricks work. It's very obvious and very simple that that's not the curvature of the earth. Most of the mainstream science will say you can't see the curvature of the Earth from that distance. Um, I think you can't because the Earth is flat, and it's another uh, proof that these debunkers are faking it. They're faking it. You can take that camera and put it on the outside of that cylinder. It's being very dishonest and very deceptive. He could have gotten a flat horizon um, shot if he put the camera using a rectangle camera outside of the cylinder. Now, they do this all the time with weather balloons, and they, it shows a flat horizon. Now, the um, debunkers say that that's not even a flat horizon. They go, I see a curve. And now, in this case, they're all, like, getting all euphoric and getting all crazy, saying, we see the curve of the earth, we see the curve of the earth. No, you're seeing a frame shot from inside a circle showing you the frame of the circle from uh, what he's shooting through. It's super obvious. This is how they've always done it. And then... In 2002, they redid uh, the original blue marble photo. The original blue marble photo was taken this way. That's how they took it. And then in 2002, they redid that image using composites. And then in 2012, they did that re uh, using composites. And they admit, we used composites. Before 2012, there was only two pictures of the earth. Literally two. The blue marble and the blue marble um, revised. And then in 2012, there was like three pictures. Before 2015, there were no satellite images uh, of the Earth. There weren't any of these crazy CGI satellite images of the Earth. They're just not. Um, you can fake pictures of the Earth, and uh, getting people to believe it's a real picture is very hard to do, and they used to just not do it. They used to just ignore it. The fact that you guys are trying so hard to fake images of the Earth is going to prove to the whole world that the Earth is flat. Everybody knows the Earth is flat now. You guys are silly. The Earth is flat. And the debunkers of Flat Earth are the ones that prove the Earth is flat from all their fake tricks.